Okay, Alan, let's see how it goes. This represents the first cut. Basically everything except for the V-grooves. This is already loaded in. I've already set zeros on my router and we are going to begin. This is going to take forever.
pausing this because there's an order of operations I didn't do correctly. I should be doing the bee grooves right now because once I cut this out, it ruins the integrity of the board somewhat and we get some bounciness. We don't like the bounciness. We want this to be down for the bee grooves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the bit to the end mill and we're going to do the bee grooves next. But I'll be waiting this artificially in the middle and then we can finish cutting it out. There might be a little recut, but that will be okay. thousand or Sixteen thousand RPM correlates to about two hundred and sixty five hertz. Here we go.
And now we pause for dinner. Dinner was yummy. Let's continue.
like that. Put these on the ground? No. That does stay put on here. Oh. Well, it is kind of on the ground. <laughs> uh. uh, nope. Uh. Nope. This looks pretty good. There may be a little cleanup to do deep in the corners, but probably not. Considering the ball, I think the ball bearings will roll right over everything. Next up is 
getting the code that finishes these holes in the middle and the cutouts and both sets of holes and both cutouts on this one. So give me a second. Your nose running. Next task is to zero this on the actual um, spoil board and then raise it up just enough to accommodate for the thickness of the material. Wasted thirty two dollars. Okay, lesson here is while this is a wireless controller, if I put it below the table a little bit, the signals get delayed. of an end mill is no good Why? because it wastes dollars. Oh, no good. No good. Fifty. 
And we shall begin. Four holes or sixty four holes. Better that than having to click it all to one of the things I don't want to do. Takes way too long. Almost done.
think it's done? Yeah. I think it's probably done too. One more. Uh, yeah, one more. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. What? Well, I kind of screwed up. Okay, so I was looking at. There's a lot of sawdust there. Yeah, can you get it? I'll get it. So I screwed up a little bit. Uh, I was noticing how the grooves were not very big, and it occurred to me that I told software I was using a 90 degree V cutting bit when really I had installed a 60 degree V cutting bit. 90 degree would make it wider. That's what we want. So. Screw these down. It's not going to be perfect. This one's a little foo bar. But maybe we can. Pretty good. I like Daddy. that one. No, Daddy, now can I have those? Now can you have the oh no. I, have one. I know you want the BBs. BBs. I will give you two BBs. Two. No, no two BBs. No two BBs? Okay. No, three BBs. Three? Are you negotiating? What? Three BBs. Uh one, two, three. Don't lose them. Okay. Are they tiny? Yeah, they're pretty tiny. Bigger than what? I don't think they grow those, Sarah. They're gonna grow. Nope. Because I gave you three. We negotiated up from two. Oh, uh, done? Not exactly. I need to rerun a tool path. I like those babies. You like them? Do you like your circle suit? Uh -oh. Did you drop one? Yeah. Where'd it go? <laughs> this is what I predicted. Oh, I have three. No, I have three. Did you get all three again? Yeah. Good. Okay. I like the can I call it those? Nope. Because. Oh! Two! Okay, now we are going to re zero and we are going to. Did you lose one again? We're going to zero right up here.
suite. Next question I have is how tall are these screws? My safe Z is 0.2 inches and these are 0.1. I should not hit this. All right. So,
That looks pretty slick. Here you can see the five tabs I put on the outside of each of these. Interesting, these are wide tabs, which is the right spec. These are thin tabs, which means the material is pulling up a little bit. Hopefully that won't matter in the prototype. Now to cut these out, sand these up on the belt sander and deliver to the happy customer. Good deal.
that what you're looking for? 